Welcome back to Lexis Tarot Card Reading. Today I'm going to have a pick a card on how is your lover feeling about you at this moment. <clears throat> um, I haven't changed the battery alarm, okay, so because I cannot reach. So I'm waiting on someone to change it for me because I know someone was bothered because of that. Right now I can't do that, so that triggers you. Today you can watch the video, okay? I mean, and anyone's welcome, okay? But that's where we're at. Um, I will have three piles in front of me today. The first pile will be this deck. The second pile will be this deck. The third pile will be this deck, okay? We're going to see how is your person feeling about you, okay? Um, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I really am happy y'all are here. And I really enjoy y'all company, y'all love, y'all comments. Y'all are great. Thank you so much. Pile uh, number one, let's see how is your person feeling. The person on pile number one's mind, their significant other. How is their significant other feeling about them at this moment? The person on pile number one's mind. Please give me clear and concise messages for pile number one. Okay, we have the six of wands reverse. So they may feel that they're un they were unsuccessful in regards to something, um, maybe walking away from something. Okay, what else? They could be feeling insecure right now. Maybe there's something going on in their life. We have the magician, so they're trying to manifest. Probably manifest you. I do truly feel like this is an ex trying to come back. I feel like they've tried before, but it didn't work out. You you still walked away. What else? The two of wands is like they're trying to plan a way to come back. Clarify the six of wands reversed. The ace of swords and the five of swords. Yeah, it's like they communicated their truth. They decided to be open and truthful, um, non-petty. But it's like they feel like <clears throat> they didn't get anywhere with you. Like they felt unsuccessful. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Well, I'm going to clarify this truth first. Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? What truth was this? Maybe the truth was that they didn't want to fight anymore, and maybe you could have taken it as um, a wrong way. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Cups wanting to express that they want to work with you. Yeah, the Temperance clarifying the Eight of Cups. Clarify Temperance. That's healing. Temperance is healing. So wanting to heal maybe um, separation or distance between y'all. Okay. The Emperor. This could be an Aries. Clarify the Magician. I feel like they've needed to walk away from something recently. And it's kind of, it was possibly very important to this person with the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It could be in regards of their family situation. So right now they're feeling kind of, mm, kind of bum, bumped out, bummed out, like not so happy. But I just see them, you know, um, 
putting in the work still like not giving up even though they feel unsuccessful and with the page of cups and the three of cups i see someone here trying to manifest a rekindling or a reconsideration uh, a reconciliation here so again this could be an ex or someone who's on your mind page of wands yeah it's like they want to come out of hermit mode and they want to walk towards you page of wands we have the ten of cups because you're their fulfillment you're the they see you as the one all be all they hate to see you with someone else so I'm feeling like this is an ex's energy. They're still in your energy. And they're definitely watching you. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me more about this person. Eight of house. The eighth house intimacy. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. But they're still thinking about the time that we're very intimate. And or they want to continue to be intimate with you i'm also getting if this is not an ex this is someone that wants to you know get i feel like they have an old belief or something that's really a, a, a pattern of them to believe that everyone could be cheating on them with the queen of swords as you can see there's a couple in the back so i feel like they're trying to get out of their head um and trying to <clears throat> be in a calmer energy when it comes to you and then we have the first house yeah it's like they're working on their self okay to be able to be more intimate closer to you what else got in angels we have opposition and balance so they're trying to balance out the energies between y'all to have this um marvelous relationship with you okay what are this person's um, future actions let's use the tarot cards this person's next 24 hours future actions we have the moon so still be in their emotions, okay? Um, they're still thinking about you, thinking about things and ways to grow. So I don't see them talking to you. And if they do, they're not going to open up much. They're still hiding their emotions, their actions, okay? So let's use the one-time wellness oracle to get extra messages for power number one. For power number one. Yep, we have girl talk. So they're going to obviously talk to you, but they're not going to completely open up. We have palm tree. It says stability and growth. Yep, that's what they want. They want growth with you. And then we have I like you at the bottom. Okay, so I do feel like there are two energies here and X wanting to rekindle something with you and your new person trying to... Um, get over an old belief you know that you know every man or woman is a cheater you can't trust anyone and stuff like that okay and seeing them planning out trying to get their courage together to walk towards you so let's use the monology to see what extra messages we can get <clears throat> for power number one let me put these cards up real quick. So yeah, I am seeing that your person could have some kind of trust issues. Alright, but let's see. Let's get some advice for you. Give us some advice, guardian angels and spirit guides, when it comes to this relationship. They are watching you at this moment. They do want to grow with you and care about you. But it's like they have to feel comfortable first before they completely open up. So we have step out of your comfort zone. What do you need to release? Okay, so North Node, step out of your comfort zone 
and what do you need to release some of you may need may need to release an ex lover or someone who you may think they'll come back because it's kind of affecting your relationships and the answers you need are coming all right full moon in gemini so you can search up the next full moon and that will give you around a time this person may express themselves okay so let's get you a whispers of love well actually let's get you a archetype to see how they're feeling about you for power number one guardian angels and spirit guides Power number one. How is power number one's person feeling towards them? How is power number one's person? Alright, so we have one card coming out. <clears throat> the mentor. Okay, so they may feel like you are someone who's guiding them to become bigger and better in their life okay they may see you as a father mother figure someone who's very caring towards them someone who's very loving and caring towards them let's read the the uh, message so we have the mentor okay i passed it up I'm sorry. It was reversed, okay? The teacher, the sage, and the guru. So I am getting like, um, th this is kind of like your purpose is to teach this person something, okay? So be patient with them, all right? It is said that cosmic knowledge pours down on the world like a great illuminated waterfall. This can be an overwhelming force. The true teacher, though, is said to be able to hold this flow of wisdom at bay. While the student sips from a focus stream, the mentor archetype has a gift for reading the room, for sensing the exact ingredient that will stimulate growth within the student. Whether pleasant or painful, the mentor may appear aloof or available. Harsh or tender, humorous or rigid, their gift is to know what serves the soul. Ultimately, the mentor is in service of the greater cosmic good and aims in the elevation of consciousness. Anytime the mentor forgets this humble link and mistakes themselves for the source of enlightenment, the archetype falls into shadow. So the shadow is self-serving, envious of youth, righteous and rigid. So your advice here, well, this is how they, they um, feel about you. So yeah, your advice here is to be more like a mentor, less rigid, more patient, more loving and caring and understanding towards this person. And maybe even teach them a thing or two um, when it comes to them. All right, so now let's get a Whispers of Love to end your reading. I usually read the message, but not this time. All right, so for power number one, what message do you have? Power number one. Burning angels, what message do you have for power number one? So the, we have demonstrate love, find out what is important to those you love, and act on it. Okay, so again, find out what is important to those you love and act on it. So a helping hand will help this person. That's what a teacher does. They help, they guide. So I feel like at this time, this is what this person um, wants and speak with love and truth i mean needs okay to speak to give them more loving 
um, encouraging energy and to speak with truth but with a loving heart because this person you may be upset but this person has lots of feelings for you even though they're hiding their face all right so beautifuls if you did enjoy this reading please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i thank you so much mm -hmm. ciao Pile number two, if you chose this beautiful deck, this is your pile. We're going to see how is your person feeling about you at this moment. So for pile number two. I do usually do longer readings, but right now, since like I'm on the time budget, let's say that. I do shorter readings, okay? But I will be finding a time for y'all to do longer readings like I used to. But let's get right straight to your message for power number two. What is this person's energy? How do they feel towards them? The five of cups. So they could be they, they could be feeling disappointed about the past right now. They could be crying over spilled milk. It could be in regards of an argument you may have had. Or this is just something that they're going through because um, of their environment. Okay. So take what resonates. What else, Guardian Angels? The King of Swords. So right now they're trying to use their head over heart. They're trying to use have gained some kind of clarity maybe when it comes to this relationship okay so again i don't know if y'all had a fight or not or this is family matters yeah it's like with the seven of cups they're trying to make a decision they're trying to come out of this cloudiness okay what else i am gonna clarify the cards let me get one more guardian angels one more we have two more, the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords. And then we have the Two of Cups. Yeah, there could have been a petty argument here that they're still thinking about or holding on to. I'll clarify the Five of Cups. Let's see why, um, possibly why. Clarify the Five of Cups. What's going on here? Guardian Angels. Okay, the chariot, something about movement or moving on, moving forward. You could have told them it's time for you to move on, move forward, move away from somewhere. And they didn't want to. Or they feel like maybe you haven't moved away from an ex. Maybe an ex texted you. That's what I'm getting. Clarify the king of swords. Yeah, it's like they're trying to get over this hurt or disappointment um, by not by having a new beginning with you and not be too emotional. But I'm still getting that they they still have mad feelings. Okay, clarify the seven of cups. We have the Three of Cups. Yeah, they want this happiness, this communion communion with you, especially with this Four of Wands. They want stability. That's what they're choosing. I see them choosing good energy. But we have the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords here. Why is the Five of Swords here? Five of Wands could be other people in competition. So they may be feeling kind of upset if people are, you know, hitting on you. They could feel very jealous of that i'm also getting with the ten of swords reverse is that they're healing this energy of feeling like someone else could steal you from them or of being possessive and jealous i'm also getting that there could be people in their environment trying to win your attention because you're the pre-empress like right here you're the catch Okay, so let's use the astrological to get extra messages. How is this person feeling towards child number three? 
Yeah, Leo. It's like you are very charismatic, very sexy. You get the attention. You are out there, okay? You're bedazzling, baby, like <laughs> this disco ball, okay? And, and they are jealous. It's like they don't want no one else um, getting your attention. Yeah, 12th house surrender. That's what they're working on, surrendering this, these um, feelings that they that are being brought up at this moment. Yep. What did I say? Feelings. And look at that. Oh, my God. Yes. Okay. Yep. There could be a Pisces or they could just feel a lot. All right. So, let's um, get you an all-time bonus for pile number two. We have talking and healthy choices. So they do want to talk and they want to put y'all's differences aside and choose, you know, better choices or um, decisions, have better decisions and be mature when it comes to this relationship. Yeah, with the Phoenix, they want to transform this relationship. They want to change this maybe situation um, or argument and alchemize it into something better so let me put these cards up real quick let's use immunology to see when are they coming forward or what advice can your angels give us for pile number two guardian angels and spirit guides what advice do you have for pile number two so we have Surrender to the divine full moon. So in the full moon, you're going to get intuitive messages. You're going to get messages from this person, probably expressing their feelings. I feel like this person expresses their feelings or y'all go through big transformations during the full moon. We also have your commitment is being tested. Right. I feel like there's lots of temptation um, in this relationship. Nothing is yet set in stone, so be careful with your words and your actions. And we have a fiery climax approaches, so this could go very well. Okay, let's get you an archetype to see how are they feeling about you at this moment for pile number two. How is pile number two's person feeling about them at this moment? I heard of magnetic. Oh, okay. They're feeling a little hot. Okay. All right. So let's see. What else? Guardian angels, please give me one card. All right. So we have the stone. I've never gotten this card before, so I am going to read the message from the book. Okay. But I do feel like intuitively, they feel like they could rely on you that you are like a stepping stone the seed yeah they want to put in the work okay i'm getting they want to fertilize your seed so be careful with that if you don't want to get pregnant um but yeah it's like they want to block everyone from you you're that stone you're that special unique stone that they found and they just want to cut everyone out okay and they just want to build a solid foundation with you all right so we have this stone here and arc the eternal the anchor and the rock as an archetypal object the stone holds psychic and literal weight its energy is one of permanence concreteness and reliability the stone's ability to transform is nearly imperceptible to us as it changes ever so slowly over countless human lifespans a single stone may see thousands of generations come and go therefore it, therefore it contains an ancient and eternal presence the stone is best used to anchor our wild side so no matter how far we roam we can always find our way back the stone tethers us to earth helping to grow and helping to ground and connect us to stillness quiet and peace when this card appears it is likely the stone is a remedy for what ails us humble and easily unnoticed 
The power of the stone balances the frenzy, frenzy of our world. When in light, steadfast, loyal, committed, and present. When dark, weighted, weighted down, holding back, and cold. So, I don't remember if we got this. Yeah, we got this stone upside down. So, I do feel like they're in the shadow phase where they are distant and cold. But they are very loyal and committed at the same time. So, the, I feel like there's lots of scorpionic energy when it comes to your person. Alright, so let's end your reading with a Whispers of Love for pile number two. <clears throat> I do feel a little bit dizzy at this moment. Pile number two. What advice is there? All right, so we have new love. Embrace an opportunity for love in your work, prospects, or for spiritual growth. And then we have love makes the difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides sense of security and self-worth. And that's what your person needs at this moment, a sense of security and self-worth. Your advice is to give lots of love to this person and support. Okay, like let them know that you love them. All right, beautifuls. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you so much for being here. Mm. Ciao. Hello, pile number three. Welcome back. This is your pile. If you chose this beautiful sexual tarot deck, we're going to check on how is your person feeling about you at this moment. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like this reading so let's see for pile number three i heard karmic so you could be dealing with a karmic in this relationship will teach you some lessons we have the high priestess there's some things that you already know or they feel like they already know you know know you like the palm of their hand they could be very intuitive very psychic we have the sun so yeah could um have a baby okay there's lots of fertility here they find you they find very much lots of happiness when it comes to you when y'all are together and if you're wondering if they choose you with the lovers yes they do okay and the light is on you the sunshine is on you. <clears throat> For some of you, this could be an ex wanting to come back. If that's not the situation, they don't want you to never leave them, okay? Yeah, what they don't want is they want to cater to you. They want to feed you fruits. They want to make you feel good. Clarify the high priestess, guardian angels. we have the death so this person may have gotten out of a relationship and intuitively you're getting messages about that and you may find out or you may know intuitively that they cheated on that person or your or your uh, the other person cheated on them yeah because there's there's heartbreak and disappointment here okay and there is an ending so your person could have gotten cheated on that's what i'm getting but what i'm also getting here is that they they may feel like you're cheating clarify the sun yeah with the nine of swords they may feel like you're cheating or you're talking to someone you're working with someone else the lovers And we have the three of swords. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I see a third party here. Honestly. Oh wow. Now I'm getting the picture. It's not a good one. Yeah. The, the chariot and the fool. Okay. Mm -mm. The eight of cups. Okay. 
Y'all, y'all, grab y'all panties, go, grab y'all boxer, because this is not a good message, honestly. They are not wanting to end the relationship with their mistress with the two of swords. Okay. Um, they actually want a new beginning with their mistress. <clears throat> I can't even talk right now. Yeah, it's like they want to go back to their mistress. Um, because maybe I feel like you possibly make them feel stressful, possibly because you know that they could be. He hasn't ended the relationship with their mistress, and it's causing them stress. And I feel like they want to leave you and start a relationship. I Honestly, I'm getting also that they want to come back to you. They want to rush in and heal your heart. That's what I'm getting. But I'm also getting that they want you and their cake and eat it too. Okay, because we had the seven of swords popping up for this situation here. Which means it has not ended. It's sneakiness going on. Okay. I do feel like... You bring lots of happiness to them. And you're not sure whether or not you should take this person back. But I don't see them, you know, learning their lesson. I do see a third party here. So, let's um, get an all-time bonus oracle card for pile number three. Yeah, so it's your decision to walk away. Healing the heart. Yeah, and heal your heart. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationship. Yeah. It, it's up to you. This is this is a definitely a karmic relationship. Okay. What else? But you need just one more card. For call number three. Mask, not showing true feelings, gaslighting, and stability. Yep. They're gaslighting you. They're trying to paint you a picture perfect, but your intuition's on point. Okay? They're trying to paint this, but what's going on behind the scenes is this that has not ended. Okay, it hasn't ended. All right, all right, beautiful. So let's get you a monology oracle to see what advice we could get from your guardian angels for power number three. What advice do you have, guardian angels and spirit guides? Please give me clear and concise messages. We have hold your vision, fix moon. I'm getting don't let up, don't don't give up, okay? Like set your boundaries and don't let this person gaslight you. Alright, you gotta be strong. And then we have be bold and make the first move. Yep. To get yourself out of this toxic situation and balance out spirituality and practicality. And last but not least, we have it's time to release negativity. Um, what is it? Full moon in Scorpio. So that's your advice there, my loves. <clears throat> okay, and I'm having a difficulty speaking my truth. I do feel like y'all really cried a lot over the situation. Let's get you an archetype to see how this person is feeling about you at this moment. It's hall number three. How is this person feeling towards power number three? Give me one card. Alright, so too many cards. I'm getting watch what they say to you and how they react to your words, to your truth. Okay. 
Pound number three, how is this person feeling? Pound number three, how is this person feeling? The seed. And then we have the riddle. Okay, so the seed talks about first fertilization and time to alchemize to work through the through the complexity of these worlds that are in the way of letting the seed grow okay um, um, <clears throat> not literally okay but it's like it's like the seed cannot move, okay? Because there's all these obstacles. But there's an opportunity to grow here. And that's how your person is feeling. That they want to plant the seed, okay? Um, of illusion. Because this person's still not done, okay? So that's all we have. The riddle right here. I am going to read this message instead, okay? Because I know what this one means. Alright, so we have the puzzle the question and the mystery when the riddle is present one must stop searching for the right answer it cannot be found and ultimately it is not important rather there must be a shift from the literal to the metaphorical and that's the word i was trying to say metaphorically so from logic to mythic you are thinking too small and literally about the situation the riddle card appears when the energy is deep and mysterious, like the elusive wisdom in a Zen koan. Focusing harder won't do it, neither will increased effort. Time, surrender, and humor are only your allies. What feels like the most pressing dilemma won't reveal its deeper wisdom for a long time. Eventually, you'll learn a profound lesson from the riddle. For now, get comfortable with the limitations of your intellect and the reality of not knowing. It may in fact be the only reality there is. So when in light, a great awakening or aha moment, when dark, manipulation, deceit, and trickery. Yep, and that's how they feel about you. They want to gaslight you to be able to <clears throat> get this seed growing all right so beautifuls please take what resonates i beg you leave what does not and i love you so much for being here and i thank you so much and please don't forget to like share and subscribe mm -hmm. ciao